Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the dog queen. Welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. All right, and today we are reviewing Spotty Laguna because I just really wanted some long saran hair that I can stroke my fingers through. Um, so yeah, that's fun. And um, I ordered her off of Amazon for $35. Um, with all the stuff she comes with, I would say the price is so far looking to be worth it. Um, for Mattel, because, like, you know, MGA being like Mattel, like, being like Rainbow High and OMG, that's just on another level. And you just gotta differentiate, you know? $35 worth of Mattel product. Like, fair product. Everyone but MGA. Keep that in mind. Um... So I did have to return one and order another one because the first one I got was wonky. And this one has minor, minor defects in the eye shines of all things. Um, so yeah, I will fix that and it's a super easy fix, so no problem. Um, and then as we can see, this is the box. It's like an actual box, like there's no blister card thing that they like to do. Um, we have Monster High and Holographic right here, Laguna Blue right here, I love her, um, little logo, I guess, and then it says Spa Day, or Journée au Spa, and then it says Hair Talk is included, um, here we have Laguna and some beautiful artwork by Darko, but she, like, looks a little off here for some reason, like, maybe it's the nose, just something looks a little off, um, but that's just me. I know a lot of people love it, so I'm not really going to say much about it. Um, and then on the side right here, we have um, all of the little Laguna-isms. There's scaly heart, sunglasses, bony seahorse, her shell phone, uh, seashell, spider web, heart, bubbles, clam, potion bottle. And then uh, telling you how to use the temporary tattoos. And then over here, we have all the contents. And then on the back, we have even more of the contents. And it says spa robe and hair chalk and uh, body art. And then we can see this poor little girl here um, with all those temporary tattoo scales. Um, more stock photos, I guess. Um, and then on the top, we have Laguna's little logo right here. And then more of her symbols and then a window at the top so you can see all of that saran at the top Mwah, gorgeous and then there is the barcode if you need it so now let's unbox the spit so as you can see she is out of the box but we have to look at the accessories first so go away laguna um so first things first we have her robe which is pretty um just a bunch of blues and pinks um with a little scale pattern with drippies and this material is like um kind of like a felt um it's used on some stuffed animals um obviously it's not as good as any of the creepover robes but it's still nice and but this fur right here like the, this is so soft like this trim it's so good so soft so nice to touch um sucks that the whole robe isn't made out of this and it's just this little trim because i would have loved for the entire robe to be made out of it and then uh there's this pink ribbon so you can tie it around um so yeah and then um for like the spa stuff we have a little mask right here that is curated specifically for laguna you can see the little fins right here then there's scales up here um cute but i probably won't be using that and then we have a black seahorse skeleton comb it's cute this is our first g3 brewerage unless a gorgonizer drought came with one i went no i didn't buy her and then uh we have these which are reused pearl clips from her cordal but this time they're casted in a um, pearlescent white plastic versus the straight up white plastic that we got before. So 
That's nice. I'll definitely be using these um, with my Core Laguna. Uh, just, you know, replace them. And then we have larger barrettes slash pearl clips for yourself. Also in the, like, pearlescent white fun. And then we have um, these, like, tealish blue rubber bands. And then we have um, these tattoos, which I'm going to try in a TikTok short that I'll post shortly after this video. Um, so keep a lookout on that where I try this on my arm, and we'll see how well it works. And then uh, we have the... This little case right here that has all different types of Laguna stuff on it. And then this side is a little shell. And there's a little tentacle with the pearlescent white material making up a pearl. You open it up. And then you can put your little hair clips inside. And you're like, hair clips? What, what little hair clips? Well, you get a variety of these little snap-in hair clips. You have either shells, drippy shells, or pearls. And you open them up, and then you can put it around a little hair and close it. Um, so we have this purple shell. Um, and then we have this pink bead. Um, and then we also get um, this blue shell. And um, we also get this blue bead. And once you put them all in here, you can just close this up and then they're all stored which i'm curious i'm gonna stick this around for a bit yeah they just all got mixed in there they're not really separated but yeah that's a fun little storage thing for your hair clips and then we have the things that expire from this set which are the hair chalks we have uh like tealish blue and purple and these expire in uh, March 30th, 2025. So we still have a good bit with these. There's like a silicone material right there. Um, but let's see. So you pop it open. And then we have just that little hair chalk thing. And then the hair chalk itself. Whoa! Well, it didn't get on me, thankfully, because this stuff does get everywhere. And then we have the blue side, which looks like that. I will be trying this on Laguna. A lot of people, like, ill-advise it, but I'm going to anyways. So we'll see what that looks like. So here is Laguna herself and her glory. Look at all this hair. This is the um, main attraction here. We have this platinum blonde hair, which look at this platinum blonde in Saran. You know who else had platinum blonde? Feardescent. So she had poly hair for what? Nothing. Um, and then the back right here, we have a little under dye of this dark blue that we got with Skullsmith Secrets 1. Uh, then with this little turquoisey blue, which we got with the Cordal and this lilac color, which we've gotten with every single Laguna. Um, so yeah, very fun with the hair. And then we have, uh, this little, like, headband thing to keep your hair back. It's in a bow and it has a starfish and tentacles. It's not my favorite. I will definitely be taking this off. Um, but you can see the scales. This is the new way of how they do scales of how we saw in Monster Ball. Um, very pretty. And then her makeup is, um, like this pink right here that fades, or not really fades, but like this pink and then it's blue and then a little bit of like, I don't know, a darker blue. It's really pretty. It's like Miss Watercolor Realness. And then, um, you can see what I mean about the eye shines, like right here. It's like, uh, there wasn't enough white paint to do it, which is strange. 
and it's a little bit on this side too so i will be using white acrylic paint and just little dots and we'll see if that works um so hopefully she can be saved and then she has little lavender lips super pretty and then we have these pearlescent fish bone hoops we love some hoops and then we have two puka shell necklaces uh this top sculpt which uh in purple which we've gotten before in the cordal and then we have this one which is a little bit longer of a puka shell necklace that is a new sculpt um and then we have her like little uh honestly i guess uh it's like it's supposed to be a spotted lounge outfit but it's really just her pjs um we have good waves only on this shirt it's a little cringy but you know very laguna um and it's like you can see better with the matching pair of shorts with a little pink bow elastic band there's a little trim right here but the print is like water reflections with purple and blue with little fish bones throughout it which is very cute and we have these three quarter black fishnet sleeves which is such a sleigh um and if you're curious she still does have her torso joint and then um her legs are painted the same way that monster ball was and i'm scratching but it's not coming off so i guess they sealed it correctly like you can see where i scratched it but the paint didn't come off huh Yeah, it's not coming off, but you can see on the um, watery parts where I scratched it. It's very interesting. Okay, but anyways, like, literally she's fine. And then her shoes are these little, like, I don't know, foam sandals, I guess is what I'll call them. Nothing on the treads. And then there's a shell right here. And then you can see a skull some bubbles, a little pirate ship with an anchor, a little clamshell, and then on this shoe you can see some kelp, an octopus, and some more kelp. Oh, and a fish bone. Yeah, so these are some pretty cool shoes. Um, not my favorite Laguna shoes, but, you know, solid, and uh, they go with the outfit really well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to undo this headband um, so then we can see everything. All right, so it's off. Um, already just so much better. Um, you can see her forehead skills better and she does have a middle part. Um, and if you're curious, here is the headband and you can just um, put it back on. It does go on a little snugly. Oh my God. Can I even get it back on? I don't know, it's a little difficult, but you can put it back on. All right, so we have her face mask, which you can just hook onto the ears. Bitch, I'm struggling. All right, there we go. There is the face mask. It is um interesting. Um, I will not be putting that back on. There's literally no use for it. And then we have her robe, which I will put on for a second. This is very, very unprofessional. If you're watching this, I am, why? I'm so sorry. Um, there are like so many better views out there. Um, but whatever, just watch a gay ass bitch, I guess. Well, you can't even see what's going on. So there is the robe on which it does go with everything is really cute 
Yeah. Pretty cute. Um, and then the comb, which where are you going to need it? Because, girl, it gets crazy up in here. It does its job. And then we are going to test the hair chalks. So let's uh, just kind of, how about I do this? And then I'm going to take a strand just like in the center of her hair. So even if it does get stained, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we're just going to do this so you can see it. Because I don't really have like a spot hair or any fucking shit like that. Um, but I'm shocked because like... This is very blue. Um, not very purple, very blue. So let's just take this hair right here. And then you can do that and then push it. Oh my God, it's not moving. Okay. Well, this is all that it did. We got some dark, like, indigo on there. And then you do that, and it gets on your hand. So, what a fun experience. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm sure this is fun for kids, but, like, not that fun for me. And then we're going to try this lighter blue, since that's what it is. Uh indigo and like turquoise um please work oh my god i'm having to slide so hard So that is what that one looks like. And then here's a comparison between the two. Great. And then you can see the hair, doc hair chalk dust on her. <sighs> Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So overall, this set, is it worth its money? I would say $35 for this double wall. Mmm... Yes, question mark. Because I guess it's kind of worth it. With for all, like, because I know hair talk and stuff, you ha they had to make it especially curated and junk, so not mad at it. I say that this is probably worth $30 because there's no paint on this or this. There's, like, a lot of missing paint details, so... I'm going to dock it some points. It should have been 30. Um, but yeah, if you're just interested in the doll, I would just wait for a sale, to be honest. But I'm an impatient bitch, and I love Laguna, so this was completely and utterly worth it for me. Um, so yeah. Gorge. So from Rain Supreme, I grant you own full glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles. <laughs>